Target is removing several items from this year's Pride collection after receiving threats related to them. In a statement, the retailer says some of its employees are concerned about their safety and well-being. The statement doesn't list the items, but social media posts suggest controversy over Target's tuck-friendly swimsuits that help transgender women conceal male genitalia. False information is spreading that the swimsuits are marked towards kids, but Target says that they are for adults. The retailer says it remains committed to standing with people who identify as LGBTQ+. Crews from roughly 30 agencies responded to a fire at the Columbia County Recycling Center just outside of Portage. The Portage Fire Chief says the garbage recycling and storage areas were up in flames. No injuries are reported so far. The chief said workers noticed a bale of cardboard on fire that spread in the building. Crews are expected to still be on scene as they fight the fire throughout the day. Nearly all of Goose Island was underwater after a large snowmelt brought spring flooding. Now the campground is still only partially open. Sand, branches, logs and other debris are being cleaned up. The campground opened three weeks after its usual date. We've had to call just everybody on 25% of our campground to let them know that their sites are unavailable. Multiple dump trucks have been coming to the site daily. Rupel says the cleanup process has been expensive, estimating the cost into the thousands. Park officials are warning campers to watch out for spots that look dry but aren't. Several cars have already gotten stuck. As Memorial Day gets closer and prices at the pump continue to rise, you might be thinking if you should fly or drive. Experts are saying there might not be that much of a difference. They say local prices tend to go up in early May as stations switch over to a more expensive, cleaner burning of gasoline ordered by the EPA to lower admissions. However, AAA says this year's flying won't save you a ton of money as airfare prices are much higher than before. More than 100 volunteers took to La Crosse County cemeteries, cemeteries excuse me, ahead of Memorial Day. Groups with the La Crosse Memorial Day Association and various veteran groups placed flags at the graves of wartime veterans. 150 volunteers spread out to 13 cemeteries to put flags at nearly 8,000 grave sites. Those flags will stay until Flag Day on June 14th. This week is National EMS Week. It is a chance to celebrate EMS practitioners and the important work they do in our nation's community. It happens every year in May and was authorized by President Gerald Ford. Lieutenant Jeremy Southworth with the Onalaska Fire Department says it's critical because 80% of what they do is taking care of people. Lieutenant Southworth also says how being a paramedic has changed throughout the years. The longer I get into my career, uh, the busier every community gets. Um, the more, more calls for service that we get. We're an aging population. Um, being that we're an aging population, uh, more of us are, are relying on uh, EMS care, whether it's pre-hospital care or uh, in-hospital care. National EMS Week ends on Saturday. Children in West Salem got the chance to practice important bike skills in a controlled environment. The Bike Rodeo is an annual free course for pre-K to 6th grade children that teaches bicycle safety in a fun way. The goal of the event is to get kids more confident on their bikes. Park and Rec volunteer Stephen Cohen says the course helps teach things like balance and brake control. Well, they're going to learn things like uh, the ABC check, you know, air, brakes, chain. But they're also going to learn the power pedal, making sure they can take off confidently uh, from a stop and control their brakes as well. There were also stations that focused on skill building like riding on ramps. As you head out the door this morning, those clouds will continue to clear out and then skies will turn bright and sunny here, especially this afternoon with those high temperatures rising into the low 70s, making it just a picture perfect and comfortable day with seasonable temperatures as well. Heading into your eight day forecast, we're going to be looking at highs reaching 78 tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, so a bit warmer, much warmer this week and also especially in the next week as highs will climb into the mid 80s. Watching for a chance of thunderstorms perhaps by the middle to later part of next week though. It has just been so nice out. I 
I yeah. spent yesterday afternoon reading at Pettibone. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was my first time there, yeah, but there I go. enjoyed the sun. This Thanks is the type to, of weather for it, too. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. And thank you for watching News 8 Now. Don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on News8000.com. We'll have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. Have a great morning. Thank you for watching News 8.